What's up, everybody? What's up, what's up, what's up? I'm going to let some people join in right now uh, before I start talking. Get some people here. And let's see. Here we go, waiting for everybody to get active. Let's see, let's see, let's see. <clears throat> All right, so people are coming in. People are coming in. All right, this is the Royal Rhymes Recap. I am your host, Slight the Poet. Uh, if you didn't get a chance to check it out on Thursday, we had our newest episode of Royal Rhymes air on the gobu.tv app, uh, giving you poetic lines and the reasons why. We had a phenomenal guest on the show, Mr. J. Rose. Uh, he came by, dropped some fire, um, poems are good, I wish that I wrote it, and we just kind of talked about the poem, talked about his journey, and, and lots of great things, so just wanted to recap with him, and I see he is in the building, so let me go ahead and bring him in, which I forgot how to do that. Oh, here we go. Jay Rose, what's up, man? Hey, what's up? What's up? How you doing? I'm good. How are you? I'm cool. Just finished working night. Now I'm back in the AC. Oh, ooh. right, right, right. Uh, how often do you work out? You say how often? Yeah. Uh, at least like three times a week. Okay. Okay. Cool. Yeah, my my friend and I we're we're trying to hold each other accountable, so we're starting our stuff tomorrow. So. I hope that I can stick to it. Okay. <laughs> yes, sir. Yes, sir. Um, you have you having a good weekend? Been been good so far? Oh yeah, I've been really relaxing, just chilling. Worked out okay. yesterday, worked out today, and I was I was I was hurting from yesterday, so I laid in bed. <laughs> I was in bed <laughs> most of the day. I feel you. That was me yesterday. It was just a very long work week, and so I woke up at like eight o'clock, but I kind of just laid in bed until twelve <laughs> before, I, <laughs> before, I, before I actually got. Up. I just like I just need to like figure some things out, like recalibrate, rejuvenate myself, all that kind of stuff. <laughs> but yeah, so for those that are uh, just joining, this is the Royal Rhymes recap. So I had J Rose on our show. Uh, Royal Rhymes this past Thursday where we give you poetic lines and the reasons why and he shared a he shared a very dope poem with us called The Blessing and we were able to to talk through it uh, understand the inspiration behind it talk through some of the, the the metaphors and the and the literary devices he used throughout and then we also just talked about him and his journey and you know what inspired him to, to get to where he is and, and 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 what that how what that journey looked like and what what it looks like to stay there today um, and so if you missed it, that's fine. Uh, it's going to be re-airing tonight at 6 p.m. Uh, you can check it out exclusively on the gobu.te app. All you have to do is go to the uh, App Store if you, have and if you have Apple or go to the Google Play Store if you have Android, download the app and give it a listen. Uh, again, that's going to be uh, re-airing tonight at 6 p.m. Central Time. So, so uh, let's kind of just do a quick recap of the show. Like what was... Um, what was it like for you being on the show? Like, how how did you feel? All that kind of stuff. I like uh, the way the conversation turned out. Uh, I definitely, like we talked about it afterwards, we definitely didn't uh, expect it to go that way as far as talking about purpose and, you know, your passion and things like that in life. So I enjoyed it. I really enjoyed it. I feel comfortable. That's what's up. That's what's up. Cool, cool, cool. Um, yeah, did, and did you... Uh... Was was there? So yeah, we did have that that shift. Was there like a favorite moment for you or anything, or was it just kind of all blended together? It was kind of all just blended together. Really, just talking about purpose. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I, I appreciated that that purpose talk as well. I think I mentioned it on the show it was it was very um, encouraging and like spark giving to me and just and just my journey um, right now. Um, so yeah, it was it was it was good. It was good. Um, yeah, uh, so another, another thing, um, I wanted to ask you, so, uh, moving, moving on into, uh, I guess just this next week and just the next things you have, like, what kind of, what kind of things do you have coming up in the, in the future with, with poetry, with, with, um, your merchandise, with, with 
you and being an entrepreneur? Like, what's what's this next season look like for Jay Rose? Um, just stepping out more and being myself. Like, someone sent me a, uh, it was someone's Instagram about, uh, it's like skating. So that's the one thing I like to do on the side. Mm-hmm. It's, it's like one of my favorite hobbies is to skate. And even just having skating lessons or having my own brand of skates, you know, and that came from just following my passion as far as poetry. And yeah. just opening that branch up, working out, you know, working out with people. And as far as shows, I'm still going to keep um, just dropping videos on YouTube. Mm-hmm. Um, we're going to have, like, a few events, like weddings and stuff. And uh, Okay. Yeah. Um, and for those just joining, uh, if you have any questions, feel free to do the question thing and, and you know, we can talk about it. Um, so when you do, when you do, have you done weddings in the past? Yeah, yeah, of course. So when when you do weddings, do you do you write a poem for that couple? Do you share one of your are you written poems? What does that look like? Uh, sometimes they they request a blessing. Like, like a lot of people request that one, but um, I've helped people write wedding vows, um, and that's mm. that's usually going back and forth and sharing notes. I want to know about like I basically become a therapist. Hey, when did you meet? You know, yeah. how do you feel about that person compared to when you first met them? So I've done. It's opened so many doors, and I never thought I would end up writing like wedding vows for someone. Right, you know? right. And, wow. and, yeah, and there's certain things that like that that happened in the past. So, you know, I, I can't even just limit myself to just getting on stage and you know recite my own poetry. Yeah, no, I hear you. Do, are you? Have you ever uh, thought about like running out of words or like running out of of things to say about love with doing a lot of other people's weddings and, and vows and stuff? No, because I think everyone's uh, experience is different. Mm. Yeah, everyone's experience is is, is different. So uh, even uh, one wedding with my cousin, like I'll just, I even though I did the blessing, their experience is like totally different. But he, they just mm-hmm. people love their poem so much. But usually when I sit down and I get inspired by certain people, the, the every each experience is different. So people mm-hmm. impact me in certain very different ways. That's. No, the, I, I feel you on that. I feel you on that. Yeah. Um, and, and that's definitely a good way to to uh, look at it because love is like this universal thing. But like you said, everybody has like different reactions to it and different perspectives. Mm-hmm. So it it um, it's the same, but like it might sound a little different or like look a little bit yeah, different. Yeah. But like it's still encompassing those same those same qualities and stuff. Yeah. Like cool, with cool, cool. Um, I, I'll say with. Like my mom, she be she she's more spiritual. She's a praying woman, so I may talk about that. You know, if I met a young woman that was like my mom, I would talk about the praying part of her, the that mm-hmm. praying aspect. If I met someone that's into reading books, I would talk about that. If someone's into art, I would just focus on that. You know, so even when we brought that up on the interview uh, Thursday, mm-hmm. uh, what, what did I say? You know, uh, for the I museum went, uh, portion, after, yeah, the museum hallways. You know, yeah. so it's things like that that'll that'll spark certain uh inspirations for me to write so i hear you i hear you okay cool cool cool, cool. um so uh that's that are you are you working on any new poems right now i just finished one but uh i'm gonna drop it this week i'm trying to memorize it right now okay I'm, okay yeah, I'm in the can we can, can we get a little a little sample like a, a couple <laughs> lines <laughs> No, I just I want to wait to drop it. That's it. Okay. It's probably like Wednesday. I, I'll be I'll be ready. So, and I'm gonna make a okay. video for it too. Okay, okay, that's that's cool enough. I I I understand. I I I'm similar, but I figured I figured that I would ask um, and see okay. if um, if you were willing to share and stuff. Uh, yeah, for those of you just joining, uh, feel free to ask a question in the question box, and we've got something that we can talk about as well uh, as we just continue our conversation. Um, so, Jay, let's see. What else What else can we talk about? Do you have any other um, short poems or uh, poems that uh, you want to you wanna share during this time? Um, what about the one, uh, let me see, short poems? What about the, uh, did you hear the hide and seek? Uh, I listened to it. I cannot remember it. <laughs> okay. I can do that one. All right. Let's go for it. All right. Three nights in a row. 
I awakened from cold sweats from chasing the same dream. Then I started to cry because I kept, I kept waking up in my favorite scene. I was standing in front of my father about to ask a couple of questions. But before I started the Q&A, I just started confessing. You planted a seed expecting a flower, but ended up with a rose of thorns a little rough around the edges, but the center could easily be torn. And sometimes I don't like smiling because they say I look just like you. And when I look in the mirror, I see a man I barely even knew. I never heard my heart speak this loud. I just want you to listen. A part of me is lost and you're the other half that's missing. Before I could say another word, he disappeared into thin air. I stood up all night fighting the shadows in my head to see if he was really there or if he even cared. Second night, I dug a little deeper and proceeded with the questions like, where you been all my life when I was born? Did you consider me a blessing? Why did you leave me? And are you happy with what I become? I know you have other children. I just want to know, am I your favorite one? Part in the last question I just thought I should mention. I know you have other children. I could use some attention. Still nothing, he just faded away. So I went back to sleep to get ready for the next day. Last night he didn't show, but he revealed himself to me. There's nothing more powerful than divine than hearing God speak. He said, I will never leave nor forsake you. Look at all the blessings in your life. How could I hate you? I never left. I'm the best father you ever have. I just ask for your best and I'll take care of the other half. And it takes a wise person to turn the adversities into testimonies. And that's what you become. And now all of my children, you are my favorite one. You've been through hell and back, and I just want you to see that all this time you've been searching for a man, and you're supposed to be looking for me. Ooh. <laughs> yeah, no, after that second one, I was like, no, I remember this one. Wow. So, um, yeah, that was, that was a lot. Um, walk us, okay, before I say anything, walk us through just inspiration of that piece and, and kind of where where you were at the beginning versus where you were at the end because I, I i'm getting that you were in two different places okay um that's a good question um <laughs> one of my friends actually she wanted me to write about she wanted me to write about her dad and she had lost him at the time and she she was just like hey can you write something you know that was like tailor-made for her mm. at the beginning and then i started to just add my own things like even having a dream it was an actual, that was the actual dream that I had. Not the, the father part, but it was about somebody else in my life. Mm -hmm. So I just added those. I, I look at my poems, I would add like secrets in my poems. So when I spoke about the dream, that was an actual dream that I had three days in a, you know, three nights in a row, I wake up from cold mm -hmm. sweats. So that was something I actually had, but <laughs> I just put, I just made it tailor-made for her. And then at the end, it was, I started to look at my own life and how God played, you know, played a major factor as far as, having uh, men in my life that stepped up, you know. I couldn't just look at this one person and say, well, yeah, you were, you weren't in my life and think, you know, you weren't in my life, but other people had did step up. It could have been my uncle, it could have been a pastor, it could have been anybody. Got you, yeah. So, so this poem you were writing for your friend about yeah. her relationship with her dad? Yes. Oh, okay, and then you went through and put in some of your stuff and then, mm -hmm. um, it switches and it's like, hey, you're looking for this man, but God's like, you should be looking for me. Um, do you say okay? Yes, okay. Um, wow, that was that was that was powerful because this whole time I was sitting here thinking it was it was you know your experience a hundred percent. Yeah, nah, <laughs> that's that's one thing. That's one thing I like to do is make my poem seem personal so I can have that mm -hmm. connection with the audience. Yeah, yeah. No, for sure, for sure. I I I completely understand. Okay. Um, how's your how's your friend doing now? Did that poem help? Was that what she was looking for? Oh, of course. She ended up okay. like getting it tattooed on it. Like, uh, not oh, the whole shoot. not the whole oh, poem, but it was uh, what part was it? It was you planted the seed expecting the flower, but ended up with a rose with thorns, a little rough around the edges, but the center could easily be torn. Yes, yes, that's powerful. Because even and even if you think about it. Um, that even that like when I first heard that poem that part I was thinking like even in there being because you, you said yeah even there being a rose with you know thorns and like it looks rough around the edges mm -hmm. that doesn't really take away the beauty of a rose like people still see rose like this beautiful flower it's just like this um, it's 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 part of it right and I, I think about even like with us whenever we talk about us being you know god's masterpiece like we're a masterpiece even in our flaws yeah 
Yes, that's what I was thinking about there. <laughs> what? No, I just even with uh, you, you did that. Even with the uh, the radio interview, you pointed out certain things, and I was like, oh, okay, you you were actually taking time out to listen to say so. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I <see>. yeah I'm, <laughs> <laughs> I'm here. I'm here. I'm with you. I'm with you. Um, for those of you just joining, uh, feel free to ask a question in the question box, and we can talk about it if you so choose. Um, but yeah, man, no, that's 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 literally what the purpose of Royal Rhymes is. Uh, our, our president, CC, was like, "Hey, I want." Um, she's someone who who's not like a poet and whatnot, so she said she has to like really um, hear things multiple times or like see it on paper to really get it and stuff. And so she was like, yeah. "When she when she came to me for the idea for Royal Rhymes, she was like." hey, like, I want you guys to be able to dissect the poem and so people can help understand the beauty that poetry is. Because, I mean, sometimes you're, if you're not a poet, you don't get it. Or sometimes if you only hear it once, you don't get it right away. You have to, like, you know, um, soak in there, like, like, let it marinate. So, yeah, I'm here. I'm here. Oh, okay, cool, cool. <laughs> and, and I actually have, um, I, know, I knew I sent another poem, Visions from a Rose. Mm-hmm. I sent that poem and I I have it on my uh, my YouTube page I Rose Again TV and I broke I broke that poem down too so this is like right up my alley as far yeah. as you know breaking it down and explaining and stuff so yeah 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 for sure uh, why don't you go ahead and tell everybody um about all the stuff that you're doing your your YouTube your website your merch all that kind of stuff where they can find it and just kind of walk them through that right now um of course I I Rose Again with Twitter and Instagram. Facebook and you Facebook and YouTube is I Rose Again TV. Um and also just made I told you I made a TikTok. That that's like to show my goofy side, you know. I'm gonna post poetry every you know, here and there on my TikTok, but I just want to show my goofy side on on uh, on that. But uh my website is I Rose Again T um no my uh, my website is I Rose Again dot com. Yeah. And that's where my merch is. I'm wearing the hoodie right now, I Rose Again, fall seven times, get up eight. Oh, excuse me. Um, what else? You have hoodies. Are you selling anything else? Hoodies. I have the t-shirts, beanies, uh, like the dad hats, which you have on right now. Um, yeah. What else? That's, that's probably about it. Joggers. Yeah, joggers. Joggers. Yeah. Okay. Cool. Uh, yeah. And then did you already talk about YouTube? Yeah, yeah I talked about my YouTube. Yeah. Okay. And and one thing I want to challenge myself. I saw Kev on stage. He t he spoke about it. He said, uh, "You know, most people wait to get the lights, the the microphone, and all this other stuff." And I'm one of those people. He was speaking to, and he said, "Stay committed to doing at least, you know, maybe a hundred videos, twenty five videos." And that's something that I'm doing on YouTube right now. And we spoke about that, you know, last week. Um, just taking that look in the mirror and being taking a look in the mirror as far as being an entrepreneur and going after your purpose. And looking at yourself and saying, hey, where am I lacking? What are my strengths? And that's something I was like, you know what? If I get a microphone, then I'll be good. You know, if I get the lights, then I'll be good. If I get this. And he was just like, nah, he started off with just the camera. And he was just talking mm -hmm. to the camera until he, all those things came to him. So that's what I'm doing right now on my YouTube. I'm just dropping videos. Even if I'm talking to two people, I just want to stay yeah. committed to making uh, 25. I said 25. Okay. So where are you? how many do you have right now? I have no clue. I need to check. <laughs> okay. okay. Well, yeah, you got to got to track it too. See how you're doing towards the goal. Yeah. Keep yourself encouraged. Um, but I, I really like that. And I think, I don't know if it's in that same video or for something different, but he said, uh, he also said at one point he was like, I got to make a new video every day. Like he was being consistent and committed to like making some sort of, you know, comedic video and stuff. And I think that's really cool for two reasons. One, it's like, all right, let me just show that I am committed to this. I am committed to my yeah. craft. I'm committed to, you know, putting in the work. Like you mentioned on the interview, you're doing this full time, but you still like put your phone on do not disturb from 9 a.m. to 5 p.m. or whatever the hours are as if you're at work and you, yeah. you know, don't have the, re the, uh, the ready, ready access to your phone and stuff. But then second, I think it also just kind of uh, flexes and works out the, the muscle right for him it's like the comedic and creative muscle for us it's the poetic and creative muscle and stuff it kind of just helps you to get things in order and be like okay like this is this hit this didn't um yeah, yeah. 
I'm, I'm more inspired here than I am there, or I have more to talk about in this area, that area, or I need to work on this area. It's, it, it helps us to get better and better. And um, I can definitely speak from experience uh, when I, there was a season in my life when I was writing every single day. And like, I, I was, it was very fluid. I've fallen off of that a little bit right now. <laughs> so uh, I'm, you know, I'm so human, but I can think <laughs> back to that season and like, it was, I was, I felt myself getting better. Like I was seeing things in different lights. So I think, I think that's like a great way uh, for you to challenge yourself and, you know, make sure that you're getting better. And even, even making those uh, TikTok, it, it does open this, you become, like you say, you become more fluid. I don't know, it just opens up these creative juices. And mm -hmm. it did, like, even me being silly on TikTok, it makes me want to make more videos. And I have to get comfortable, even doing these type of interviews and discussions and stuff, I have to get comfortable doing this. Because it opened doors for me to do uh, podcasting and things like that. It's, no, it's not just poetry anymore. People know me for that, but it's not just poetry. Yeah, yeah, for sure, for sure. And I hear you, I hear you. Um, it looks like we have a question right here from Taji. How you doing, Taji? She said, does it, does it show up here? Do you see it? I don't know how to work this thing. I'm, I'm, I'm like an old person right now. Oh, here we go. Okay. Uh, what's your favorite poem you've ever written and why? And, it and uh, be, yeah. It would be Visions from a Rose. Vision from a Rose. Okay. Uh, so yeah. tell everybody what that poem is about and then say why it's your favorite. The poem is about, I start off saying, a seed was planted, buried in soil. It's literally about me being a young man to a grown man. And um, just talking about my life and the things that I've learned. And I wrote that when I was like 21, 22. Mm -hmm. And I, I took maybe three, four years to write it because I was just like, okay, what am I learning right now? But it, it was just describing. I got it from a uh, Tupac that wrote the. Uh, oh, I, I went blank. The, uh, the Rose. Rose that Rose. Yes. Yeah, yes. Yeah. Yes. So I I looked at that and I was just like, all right, what if I was that Rose back in my old neighborhood? Mm. And I'm that's why I called it visions from a Rose. So I'm just looking at everything around me and looking at myself, and you know, just starting off as a seed being planted and growing as as a man. Yeah. Yeah. I hear you. Yeah. Um. Wow. That's good. So it's almost like it's this testimony piece, looking back at where you've been, how you've gotten there, where you are now, and and seeing how things all flow together. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Um, I'm trying to think about what my favorite poem that I've written has been, and I think. I'll go with the one that I probably share the most often. Um, and it is called, Do You Think of Me? It's a, it's a love poem. And uh, it's literally just kind of going through, um, like, hey, I'm, I think about you all the time. Do you, it, it's asking the question, I think about you all the time. Do you, do you think of me, of me as much as I think about you? And I just kind of walk through like how I'm thinking about her when I'm watching TV. Um, when I'm eating and making dinner and lunch, when I'm listening to music, when I look in the mirror, when I close my eyes, all these different yeah. things, and you know, pretty pretty poetic throughout. And um, did you do for that me, with, uh, I, at the show? Yeah, the show that we were at, I did that. Yeah, with, yeah. okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. <laughs> and so, for me, I just like that's almost like my go-to poem because um, it has like this essence of just making me feel giddy, just like okay. all right, like I'm I'm kind of in a, in a good spot. And just kind of wondering, like, do you think of me? And, you know, me being a single guy right now, it kind of, for me, was the question, like, yes, when I wrote that poem, I was thinking about someone in, in particular. But now, now it's like, in a general sense, I'm thinking about my wife. And it's like, huh, she's out there somewhere. I wonder who she is. I wonder what, when we're going to meet. I wonder if we've met already. Like, yeah. So it's just like this continuous question. Oh, you 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 asked me that too. Have you do, do I feel like I, I met my wife already? <laughs> yes, yes. And so is that is Did that I, why you said that? Uh, maybe not. I wasn't thinking about that in the moment, but maybe. Do Do you know if she listened to the show on Thursday? 
the the one I wrote the poem about, the blessing. The one where you were like, because I asked you if you thought if you thought you met your wife, you're like, I, I don't know, but uh, <laughs> there might be someone who's listening or something. <laughs> now you're trying to put me on the spot. <laughs> You don't uh, gotta answer. No, you don't gotta answer. I don't. I don't know. I don't know. Maybe. maybe. Okay. She's probably. She's okay. probably somewhere following me. I don't know. Okay. Okay. That's cool. That's cool. <laughs> oh goodness. Um. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, for those just joining, we were uh, doing some Q and A. We probably have time for one more if anybody has any before we head out. Uh, for those of you who also might be be joining, um. This is the Royal Rhymes recap. We are recapping the show Royal Rhymes, which aired this past Thursday, uh, featuring Jay Rose. We, uh, he shared his poem, The Blessing, and we just kind of talked. Uh, <laughs> we talked through um, the poem and stuff. And so right now we're just kind of recapping, getting to know each other a little bit more. Um, and yeah, and Taji, yes, I am slick with the spotlights, <laughs> trying to get um, all the information, all the tea. Um, but yeah, oh yeah, but yeah, if you didn't get to check out the show on Thursday, it's going to be re-airing tonight at 6 p.m. Uh, Central Time, exclusively on the GoBeYou.tv app. You can head over there after this uh, and check it out and let us know what you think. Um, since we have a couple minutes left, uh, Jay Rose, do you want to um, share like, I don't know, just a couple lines from the blessing, like get get people who didn't who didn't get to uh, hear the interview on uh, Thursday, get them get them excited. <laughs> uh, it might sound strange, but I have this thing with my favorite song doesn't get as played as much because hearing the same thing over and over again eventually gets taken for granted. That's why I tell you I love you in different ways. Like, let me know when you make your home walk. What did you eat today? Babe, I hate to see you stress and let's bow our heads and pray. I want to make conversations with God about each other, our love language. But sometimes I feel like you like the thought of love, like the thought of you deserving something so pure could only happen in a daydream or the happily ever after right before the credits roll in the movie screen. Well, would you believe me if I told you were gorgeous? I think your laughter should be played in museum hallways and your smile. Your smile should be captured at every angle. I'm certain it'll be one of my favorite portraits. I can only imagine God at an empty canvas, putting in overtime to create a work of art, better yet a masterpiece. Even Van Gogh couldn't capture a better starry night to match a shooting star. I wish upon every time I gaze in your presence. How do you expect me to sleep when you're gonna be the only thing that I see? I mean, a smile as radiant as yours to wake any man out of his dreams, but a few make a mistake of sleeping on you. I just can't see myself doing the same. Call me clingy, but how am I supposed to spend a segment day not thinking about you when your presence fills me with life? Marginal lines become levees as the ink world runs over from brainstorming of infinite ways to I admire you. You inspire me to write. Truthfully, I really <laughs> want to talk about how beautiful you are for the next two to three minutes. But then that made me delusional because that's like giving God limits or trying to pour the ocean into a glass. Ooh. <laughs> I told y'all that poem is fire. I wish I wrote it. It's amazing. Uh, check out the rest. Uh, it is going to be airing here shortly in one minute, exclusively on the GoBeYou.tv app on Royal Rhymes. Um, the full poem, our interview where we dissect that poem, what inspired it, and what's going on from there. Who? My goodness. <laughs> People <laughs> love it in the comments. People love it in the comments. Um, J. Rose, thank you so much for joining us today. Um, everyone be for be sure for sure for sure be sure to follow him hit the arrow on the top left hit that follow button uh, connect with him he's on instagram uh, he's on youtube he's on tiktok he has his own website selling <laughs> merchandise help this man out he's doing this full time he's doing this full time <laughs> um but everybody that is the royal rhymes recap where we recap royal rhymes where we give you poetic lines and the reasons why on gobu.tv, Kingdom Hip Hop, and R&B. Um, thank you all for tuning in. And before you go, don't forget to go be you. Amen. Have a good night, y'all.